everybody, welcome back to my kitchen and to day 11 of the 12 days of Ambumus. I can't believe it's almost over. Today we are going to be making one of my holiday staples and that is an eggnog frosted snickerdoodle. I made these for the first time maybe five or six years ago and I brought them into work and they were such a big hit. So every year since I have made these for the holidays, specifically for the people at my office. But since we're home this year, I'm just gonna make them for us and for some family that I'm gonna give them to. It's incredibly easy if you've ever made a snickerdoodle. It's super straightforward. The eggnog frosting is delicious. It's like the greatest stuff in the whole wide world. I think this year the eggnog has really just done it for me. I'm sorry if you don't like eggnog, but it is what it is. So I have my stand mixer ready to go. I'm gonna be preheating the oven to 350 and then we'll get going with the ingredients. And I think today I have a cameraman. So things should look better. I think. Okay. <laughs> Ac action, action. Action, action. okay. So to start, we're gonna use um, one and a half sticks of butter. The other half of the stick we're gonna save for the frosting and then one cup of sugar. I'm gonna pop that into the mixer and put it on probably like low till everything is combined and it's nice and fluffy. So it'll take maybe a couple of minutes. Just scrape the edges. So now that those have been mixed together, I'm just scraping them off the side of the bowl because we're going to add um, more ingredients and I wanna make sure everything mixes in. So we're gonna add one egg that's been sitting out at room temperature. Apparently that's better for baking. And then we also need to add the vanilla, so we're gonna add one teaspoon. Oh, I can't get this I thought, you were, I thought we were ready. I thought we were ready. I am ready. Do you need help? No, I have eggy fingers. Do you need help? No, I can do it. <laughs> Maybe, I might need help. I need help. Cameraman, help me. It's hard, right? Yes. <laughs> this is very hard to open. <laughs> All right. Okay, action. All right, and one teaspoon of vanilla. Then we're gonna mix that. It looks so delicious. The way you just said that looked evil. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just like looked up at the camera. It looks like gross. Very evil. Yeah, evil. That's me. Turn it up a touch. <laughs> Alright, now we're adding baking soda, cream of tartar, cinnamon, nutmeg, and salt. So we need one teaspoon. Tell, tell the cam tell the camera what you what you're putting in. I just said one teaspoon of baking soda. Two teaspoons cream of tartar. My container is totally busted. I don't know why. This is what makes the snickerdoodle a snickerdoodle. I don't know why. But every snickerdoodle recipe has cream of tartar in it. I think it helps it rise, I don't know. Do you know the science? Me either. Oh God, I'm low on my cream of tata. I think that's enough. Don't look, don't look at my drawers. <laughs> All right, now we need a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. That's good. And how much nutmeg? Quarter teaspoon. I'm gonna use my half a teaspoon and just do about half. Put a little extra in, it's not the end of the world. No, make it strong though. And some salt. Salt, half a teaspoon. All right, now we mix again. So excited. Turn it up for a second. I'm a professional baker. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do another scrape because I see a whole bunch of cinnamon and that didn't quite make it into the mixture here. Smells so good. So the last thing we have to add is two cups of all-purpose flour. It says to slowly mix it in, so we're going to add it as it mixes, maybe, I don't know, if you like, you'll see. I don't know, a little bit at a time. The way that you properly measure flour is you scoop it into your measuring cup, make a mound, and then level it off. It doesn't happen every single time I bake, but I definitely try to do it the right way. Just gonna add it a little bit at a time here. Shake it in like that, let it combine. All right, before that finishes, I'm going to scrape the sides down once more just to make sure nothing is stuck to the side of the bowl so everything incorporates evenly. 
We have a mug. It's really messy. All the oven's ready. Great. I hope it's at the correct temperature. All right, I'm gonna call it there. Come on in, cameraman. Getting all the dough off this mixer as well as I can. I'm not very good at this, especially when I'm under the pressure of the camera. So I'm gonna mix it just by hand now. Looks well incorporated. All the flour made its way in. I think we're in good shape here. All right, so the next thing we have to do is make the sugar cinnamon coating that goes on the snickerdoodles before you pop them onto the sheet for baking. So for that, we are going to need a quarter cup of granulated sugar and two teaspoons of cinnamon that I'm gonna put into this bowl. And then as we roll the balls, we then put them in the mixture and then we put them on the baking sheet. All right, so now it's the fun part. We're gonna actually form the dough balls, stick them on the sheet, and then pop them in the oven. You wanna make sure your hands are clean. I've washed my hands about 400 times today, so I know they're good to go. The recipe says to use about two tablespoons of dough per cookie. Feels a little big to me. Um, this is supposed to make 24 cookies. Do recipes ever actually make as many cookies as they say they're supposed to? Not sure about that, but I'm just gonna use like a mounding tablespoonful. And roll it around. And then pop it into the sugar cinnamon mixture. You wanna give these a little bit of room to breathe because they will expand slightly in the oven. Feel a little too big. I have cookie dough in my hair. <laughs> I'm surprised. Yeah. Probably do multiple batches, maybe. Mm -hmm. This isn't that much dough. The worst part about filming while I'm cooking is I can't listen to music. Uh, watch a YouTube. Yeah, there's no way this makes 24 cookies. At well, two tablespoons a piece. Are you talking to me or the camera? I don't know, anybody. Oh, okay. I didn't want to like, I was like, should I answer? Are you talking to Those are enormous. They're big. And they're not even as big as they're allegedly supposed to be. Wait, really? Yeah, they're supposed to be two full deals. And now we're putting these in the oven for nine to 11 minutes. The trick with these is that they're going to look a little undercooked, but the bottom will be more golden than you expect them to be. So when you check them, just lift up one of the corners with the spatula just to see how it's looking underneath because on the top it might look a little undercooked. Thermometer inside says it's 350, so fingers crossed. So while we're waiting for those to cook, I'm gonna grab another baking sheet and finish off the rest of these cookies. So these cookies are huge and they're not even as big as they're supposed to be. So as you can see, the tops are, oh, this is hot, I have to put it down. Um, the tops look, you know, like they're fairly cooked, but maybe not necessarily fully cooked. But if you look underneath, you can see that the bottoms are golden. I'm not sure if you can see that. So what I'm gonna do is leave this just for a couple of minutes to um, cool a little bit on this pan and then I'm gonna pop them over here to fully cool. I also have our next batch ready to go into the oven. So I actually lied, I guess these are going to go in for 10 to 13 minutes, um, but I erred on the side of caution and 10 minutes was plenty. So I'll see you back in a few when we take out the next batch and get the frosting prepared. The date is yesterday, so I just wanna make sure. How is it? It's good. Oh, Oh, hi, handsome. All right, we've moved on to the frosting portion of uh, today's episode. So we're going to mix four tablespoons of unsalted butter sulf sulfened, softened with one cup of powdered sugar, quarter teaspoon salt, and then we're gonna add one tablespoon of eggnog, more if needed for the consistency. Then we're gonna frost those little guys up and then dust with cinnamon and we're done. So, come on over cameraman. So this is the half a stick of butter that we didn't use for the dough. So it's two sticks total. I'm gonna hit that for just a second. Add powdered 
sugar. Don't want to put it too high because otherwise it'll poof out. Now I'm going to throw in a quarter teaspoon of salt. Now it's one tablespoon of eggnog. You guys have already heard me screaming about this Fornstra Farms eggnog, but it's my favorite, 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 favorite dairy on the planet. So I'm going to use one tablespoon. Start there and see if we need to add more. This usually does it though. Give it another scrape and then one final whiz, and then we should be good to go. All right, so before you frost, you wanna make sure your cookies are cool enough, otherwise the frosting's just gonna melt off. I think these are ready. I guess we'll find out. I don't have a proper tool, so I'm just gonna use this tiny spoon. Um, scoop a little bit of the frosting. Put it on top of the cookie. I usually do varying levels of uh, frosting. Some people like a lot of frosting. Some people don't like much frosting at all, so. Start usually small and work my way up because I also don't want to use all my frosting up before I've been able to hit every cookie. So these definitely aren't as poofy as uh, times past, but I think maybe it was the cream of tartare. Not every culinary adventure is gonna be a win, huh? Don't degrade yourself. Well, I think it looks awesome. It's just facts. They're not as like puffed, you know? They're still gonna taste really good. All right, that's all we're gonna frost it for now. I'm gonna dust with some cinnamon. Makes it very festive. And there you have it, eggnog frosted snickerdoodles. I hope you guys make these and enjoy. I'll leave the link down below. These are an absolute staple to me every single holiday season, um, and I cannot wait to eat one as soon as we stop recording. Um, so I will leave everything listed down below, my Instagram, my Spotify, so you can listen to my podcast. We're having a ton of fun over there right now for the holiday season, and look forward to tomorrow, the last day. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.